Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. It's your life, it's your path, so ignore others. Do you know what? If I had the opportunity to tell myself that, or to tell my sort of 14, 15 year old self, I would. That's my one piece of advice I would say to our young people in society nowadays, is that actually from a 31 year old person, it has taken me until now to actually really, really realise that your path is individual to you and it doesn't matter whether or not it's not exactly the same as your peers, your friends, whatever you want to call it, describe it. Every single path, if you want it to be successful, you will get there. It does not have to be the same stepped hierarchical pattern in life which society so often pushes us all naturally into. Now, it's not a bad thing. And for some people, it will be fantastic. And some people will have that opportunity. And some people will go on and fulfill it and have great adventures doing it. And they'll have an amazing time and they'll succeed. But everybody who wants to can succeed. It doesn't necessarily mean to say that the same path will determine that. Let's be honest, we all know people who have had fantastic opportunities in front of them, but yet through one thing and another, they haven't gone on to pursue it or they've just left it where it is because they're happy and content and at peace where they are in life which is another huge important thing. It's your life, it's individual and it's personal to you. So if you're in a conversation with friends or you're trying to make your mind up of what you want to go on and do in life, then take the time to really study yourself, listen to yourself, listen to your heart and your head and come up with a pattern which works for you. And I say pattern because a journey, goal, adventure, it is all meaning the same, but when, when you break it down, it has to be right for you. So it has to be a pattern of advance, which is gonna work for you. So for example, you're gonna stay in education. Are you gonna stop education? Are you gonna have a break? Are you gonna come back to it? Are you gonna take a job? Are you gonna have a look for a job? Perhaps you're gonna go traveling. Perhaps you're gonna pause your career, your education, and perhaps you're gonna take up some caring responsibilities. All of these great, amazing things add fantastic attributes to our fabric of our tapestry of life, which we all have as a blessing. It's it's up to us how we want to walk that path we're all blessed with and every single one will be different. What annoys me in society is that still in 2024 that we kind of picture and we uh, put across to young people that actually right from school to be successful you have to go to college, to be successful you have to go to university, you have to have done it by a certain time and then when you hit in your 20s, family, relationships and then by 30 it's almost like that you have to have or by 40 and 50 you have to have it all complete, every single box ticked. Okay, then what? It doesn't necessarily mean to say that you're not going to be successful and you won't get to where that hierarchical pattern in society says you're going to. It just all takes time and it's very individual. Now I've learnt this and I say from when if I could tell my sort of 14, 15 year old self because back then and probably a couple of years before that is when my health took a bit of a spiralling downturn in, around, in regards to balance, hearing. I wasn't a particularly well person at that time at all or teenager at that time. I mean that's the time in your life you're going through so many different changes with education going on around you, with friends going around you, your body's changing for a start, isn't it? How you're feeling about the world is changing. And all of a sudden, my hearing started to decline and I was having a lot of problems. So I wasn't particularly well. And before that, I was having a lot of problems with nosebleeds and I had to have a pretty big operation at that time as well. So it was a very eventful, very um, difficult... Pause one, one, just for one moment. There we go, look, see, nothing is... Perfect, nothing's ever gonna be how you want it to be. A little tip there, by the way. So the phone starts ringing. I didn't, I've got a bad leg with my groin surgeries and things, which I had a few years ago now. And I can't just jump downstairs like that. So the phone, uh, it was a landline phone, downstairs, didn't get to it in time. They'll call back if it was important. I'm doing something important here. So anyway, going back to what I was saying, when I was around about 14, 15, and I had all those health problems going on, I really I felt under such a pressure that I had to get it right. And if I didn't get it right, that, I wouldn't be successful. And how crazy and stupid is that? But you know, it's took me years to realize that that's not the case. So if I can get that across to my nieces and nephews, I'm not blessed with children yet. Um, I really do hope I am one day in the future. Um, I'd love all of what I've learned. Can you imagine? These would be great kids. <laughs> so I, I do my best for my nieces and nephews and, um, and uh, oh, nephew, sorry, I have a niece and nephew who I don't see, um, but I love them all the same. I love them to pieces and they're always in my thoughts and prayers. And, um, so my nieces and my nephew, I'm often talking, I've just come back not uh, that long ago from Ibiza and uh, I was talking to them about education things and at the moment it's still quite early, um, they're just coming up to 13 
in November. Um, but I really want to install that kind of almost having a think about what they want to do with their options coming up here in this part of the world um, and kind of what they're planning to do. I, it's a bit scary to say what do you want to do for the future. Um, but I really just want to kind of get that out there that actually, do you know what? Yes, there is a one approach which society still tells us success hangs over the chain of that. Like you could imagine, can't you, the sign success here with that hierarchical kind of approach that some people will be blessed with a real straight streamlined path and will be able to just do it straight away with college, university and one thing or another. But then bearing in mind, a lot, of, a lot of people might not want to do that. A lot of young people might want to try something completely different. This world is full of all different opportunities. And that's just the thing. It's not like how it was years ago, decades ago, when to be successful, people thought that you had to go on with those steps. Bear in mind, there's a lot of successful people out there who finished their high school and went on to do absolutely incredible things. Let's break this right down. We are all equal. What I can do, somebody else can't. What somebody else can do, I can't. Doesn't matter if you've got degrees coming out of your head. Doesn't matter if you've got one qualification to 50 qualifications. We are all equal. Doesn't matter how much money you have. Doesn't matter what vocation you have. Doesn't matter what job you're in. We are equal. And I think the thing is, we all need to hold on to that fact and remember that because the minute we lose that, then we start putting ourselves in places where we think we're better than others. And that's not what I want to get out there at all because that's not it. Other people, of course, will be blessed with easier circumstances than others. Some people will be blessed with huge blessings. Some people will be in a blessing, but not quite realize it just yet. What I'm trying to get across here is that it's your path, it's your journey. So never ever compare because it's not just that one streamlined approach for you to be successful. You are successful right now. You're in exactly where you're supposed to be and just keep going, keep working at it. And you know what? If you want to take a break, don't beat yourself up about it. Take a break. Go back to it if you want to. It will not stop you from being successful or from where you want to be. If somebody's going to take a, a, a period of time out for caring responsibilities, fantastic. If somebody's going to take some time out to look after family, if somebody's going to take out, um, take themselves out of that kind of work race completely and bring up a family, how incredible, what a blessing to be able to do that. Absolutely incredible. So do you see everybody's pattern, everybody's journey is different. Everybody's path is different. So never ever compare because that's already taken. Yours is individual. There's only one of you in this world and that makes you super, super incredible and absolutely amazing. So on that note, have faith in yourself, have to think about what you want to do. And at the end of the day, don't rush about it because it does not mean if you don't get something done by a certain time that you're not going to achieve what you set out to. And it doesn't certainly mean that you're not successful. On that note, I really hope this has helped. Apologies for the phone call interruption in the middle. Um, but I'm not going to edit that out. This is all real. Integrity is everything for me. I talk from my heart. Everything what I've been through, I've been through some difficult times, um, difficult storms in my life. It's not stopped me from wanting to do things and achieve great things. And I would say I was successful. Absolutely. Um, not every day I will say that to you because sometimes I don't have the confidence in, my, in myself to be able to say that. But I keep going no matter what. I keep going. Um, my dear Nan, who is my absolute world, I lost her back in 2021, but she is always with me. And my Nan taught me many, many incredible things. But the four things which hit home to me uh, when I was delivering my Nan's eulogy at her funeral was number one, no matter what, keep going. Just keep going no matter what. Number two, always look your best no matter what. Number three, oh goodness I got it written on my wall. Number one, family is everything. Always look your best. Never give up, keep going no matter what and next always work hard. So isn't that funny? It slipped my mind there. I got a bit muddled up. But and I wrote that on my wall. I've got all different motivational things on my wall and and I kept that and it was just words which always just they resonate with me just so much and I uh, often when I'm at work on my desk and things I have a picture of my nan and that goes through my mind in different patterns of course but it really really does. She tried so hard for everybody in her life and she just no matter what she faced in her life she kept going. So to keep going no matter what, to work hard, to always look your best because you never know what's just around the corner and family is everything. There we go and I got it in the end. So on that note, God bless, thank you very much for sharing this with me and remember just because you might not be on the same path as others, your friends, peers, family, it does not matter. Yours is individual, yours is incredible, you're a blessing and you're going to get there. So don't give up. You've got this. On that note, thanks very much for being here. And until next time, I look forward to you joining me then. Bye now.